If you were the type of person who is saying, I've been doing such and such, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've been manifesting for this long, I've been on my spiritual journey for this long, I've listened to this person, I've read this book, I've done all this shit, and I still don't have what I want. You are familiar with revision, of course, I'm sure you are, if you are not, popularized by one Neville Goddard, of course, just the ability to choose to see a situation or scenario differently, choose to see something in a favorable light, whether you're envisioning it, whether you're remembering it, whether you're affirming it, whatever it is, the unwanted experience no longer exists in your mind. You've replaced that unwanted experience with the new experience, which oftentimes we call the new story, right? So if you have a story of being a person who has done so much trial and error, has been manifesting for so long and getting shitty results, not being able to get what you actually want, it's for everybody else and it's not for me. First of all, let's look at that. You said that, right? That's your concern. Why have I been doing this for so long and it's not working? Okay, in order to have that thought, and for it to genuinely be a concern for you, you have to be identified as a person who's struggling with manifestation, as a person who thinks manifestation is hard. Just like literally everything else, that is a belief, that is a choice that you get to make, a truth that you get to accept for yourself, or something that you get to decide is false and you get to rewrite that story. So why are you not just revising everything that's happened before i don't care if you were like constantly spiraling constantly hopping on a new bandwagon for a new method or trend or challenge in order to try to get what you want i don't care if you had world's number one shittiest self-concept for two decades like i don't care what it is why are we not just revising it understand and remember that excuse me to infinite intelligence there is no discrepancy there is no difference between a quote-unquote small manifestation and a quote-unquote big manifestation it's the meaning that you put on it it's the importance you put on it and at some point the excess potential you put on it that's giving you the opposite result so if you know that you could revise if like something small happened like um somebody you were driving and somebody like tail swiped you and you got a little scratch on your car and you revise it and say nope i had an amazing safe drive home made it home on time as i usually do everything was normal today is great my car is beautiful gonna go get it washed tomorrow and probably detailed this weekend i um, probably should get an oil change in a couple months but i put that on the calendar because i will forget and you know go on with your life you've revised it if you can do it for something as simple as that why can you not just say i've always been a person who manifestation is easy for it's always been easy for me to not spiral it's always been easy for me to stick to the story that's most beneficial to me that's just who i am that's just what i do i just have an amazing mindset i always have and that's what gets me everything i want why can you not just assume that state assume that mentality assume that knowing why can you not just start being that there's there's no why you can't It's only your decision to do it or to not do it. And if you're choosing not to do it, it's because you see it either one as some insurmountable task, which is not. It's as easy as literally saying, okay, I agree and accepting it. It, You're done. Literally, if you don't waver on that, you don't have to go back to it. You don't have to revisit it. I don't care what anybody else says. That's instant manifestation. The moment that you make a choice and a decision, it's done because creation is finished. So that version of you does exist, who's always manifested perfectly, who always gets whatever they want, who this is easy and effortless for, and you don't even have to think about it. So if that's the case, then you can just choose to inhabit that reality now. You can just choose to assume that version of yourself now. I'm the version of myself who always gets what I want, duh. Like, why are we even talking about this? How is this even a conversation? I just am. Like, it's unspoken. It just is what it is. Anything else is fucking stupid, ridiculous, and you're playing the world's biggest prank on me if you think that you're going to come up to me and tell me that I'm this person who I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Like, it becomes laughable at some point. You have to get to that level where you're like, I understand that literally the stories that I'm choosing, the mentality that I keep, the inner conversations that I have, the way that I think internally, my internal dialogue is creating my entire existence so are you going to continue to stick to the story of you being a victim to your circumstances of not being able to do this and that for xyz reason 
being subject to conditions and circumstances or are you just gonna decide that you're done none of that shit matters and it's over with and it's always been easy it's always been perfect there's nothing else you have to do you do everything fucking right because you are a pretty pretty princess and you always get what you want spoiled fucking brat right like why is that not baseline mentality serious question because that experience is available for you remember creation is finished so if you see that as being the most beneficial version of yourself the highest version of yourself the most aligned version of yourself whatever you want to call it the version of you in the wish fulfilled having whatever the fuck you want if you see that as you that's your desire assume yourself as being it and be done with it it's that simple yes it is delusional oh but what if this thing in the 3d okay so what okay but this person said you have to okay so what who made that person master over you who made that circumstance master over you it's uh, literally you are the only cause the sole cause of everything that happens in your reality you are god god lives in you as you so you have the creative imaginative power of i am you can imagine assume be anything that you say you are as long as you truly believe that that's your subconscious mind's like a whole entire job is to affirm your truth so if you're attached to a story that no longer resonates with you no longer is benefiting you and you're aware of that then why are we still claiming that as truth you know that there's an alternative experience available for you so in order to continue buying back into that old idea of yourself you have to continue perpetuating that identity you have to keep choosing it you have to choose to not see any alternative pathways you have to choose to not see the options that are right in front of you either out of comfortability or um being afraid or feeling like people are going to judge you or wondering if this is too good to be true or whatever the multitude of reasons you could have are for not doing what the fuck you know you need to do which is actually very fucking simple and people want to overcomplicate it you can overcomplicate it as much as you want and if you agree that that is true then that is true that's fine but does it work for you because if it doesn't why are we entertaining it serious question if it's not working for you why are you entertaining it you know it it literally is that simple and if you want to overcomplicate it at least overcomplicate it to your benefit at least make it something that is fun that feels good for you that feels like your like tailor-made process that's fine like do whatever you want but do whatever you want not whatever somebody else is telling you to do because they did this and got this result because there's somebody who did the exact opposite thing as them and got the same damn result what was in common between those two people the decision to have the knowingness of the awareness of the acceptance of being it having it doing it whatever it is they said i am holding within myself a level of conviction that either i am the person living this experience i know this experience is for me so it's done or i know that i have the capability to take myself there this experience is open and available to me and i am on my bridge of incidents going where i need to go so the path is open and available to me i'm walking on it so i will get there there's a level of certainty whether you're saying it is going to happen or it has already happened you are living in the state of the wish fulfilled your wish is fulfilled because if it's done it's done if you say it will be done okay it's already done if you say it's done now okay it's already done like literally can't get any more simple so if you're going to choose to revise first of all it doesn't have to be a big fucking deal but second of all like max that shit out like actually use it and exercise it because like it's solely there to benefit you unless you choose the alternative route of continuing to perpetuate a story that you don't want to be in and be like oh why is this happening to me it's one thing to like be in a victim mindset and not be self-aware and to think that everything is happening to you just because of ignorance and lack of experience or whatever it may be but it's another thing to be completely totally self-aware of what you need to be doing and then still not doing it and then asking why something is still the way it is hello hello like the call is coming from inside the house please understand who's wh who's making this happen why why is this um a mirror child 
Anyway, I felt I really needed to get that off my chest. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was insightful for you. And I hope it, you know, lit a little spark under your ass to be like, yeah, why the fuck can't I do that? Literally absolutely no reason, unless you say. So, you know, choose wisely because you get to totally and completely in every aspect. There are no rules unless you make them. It is whatever you assume. The law of assumption, whatever you assume to be true, it will be so, okay? All right. I love you guys. Take care and I will see you next time.